An Australian man has been sentenced to 26 years in prison for throwing his Canadian girlfriend over a 15th floor balcony. Security video showed the man dragging Canadian Lisa Harnham into an apartment just moments before her death. Joining me now from Sydney, Reed Butler with Australia Channel 9 News. Hi, Reed. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Good. Uh, tell us what did the judge say when he handed down the sentence? Well, as he handed down the sentence, he, uh, he, he described the cruelty of the crime, saying Lisa Hanna must have been in a state of complete terror in the moments, in the moments before her death. He also described Katani as arrogant and uh, said he, he would punish Miss Hanna during their relationship for small acts of defiance, such as just wearing her hair down. Um, and he cited that, uh, that Katani had no prospects of rehabilitation. That's why the sentence uh, was so harsh. And there was an outburst in the court at the time the sentence was handed down. Tell us about it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, the uh, member of Gatani's family was sitting in the court's public gallery and, and erupted when um, the judge delivered uh, the sentence. She said, uh, the, the member of the family said, in the name of Jesus Christ, you won't be doing any of that time. Um, the, the judge ordered that family member to be removed from the court following that comment and uh, all of Gatani's family actually stood up and left at the same time. Um, then uh, a supporter of Lisa Harnham actually actually called out as, as Gatani was getting led away after being sentenced, um, called out saying, over the balcony you go now. So there were, there were some dramatic scenes in court. Did the case receive a lot of attention in the media in Australia? Yes, yes, a lot, a lot of attention. It, it sort of opened up the idea that emotional abuse was just as bad as physical abuse and, uh, and, and just, just some of the bizarre twists and turns the case took during the trial late last year just really um, captured the, the public's attention and just, just sort of the, the, the horrific nature of, of what happened as well, um, of moments leading up to Katani throwing Lisa over the, over the, Sydney uh, balcony of the Sydney apartment, and uh, just it just really shocked shocked all of Australia. Now, uh, Simon Gatani uh, has another girlfriend, or had another girlfriend. I don't know if she's still they're still together, but we saw her in the video uh, a little while ago, who looked a lot like Lisa Harnham. So, what's that about? Well, yeah, they're very much still together. She she has, and there's no denying the fact how, how similar. How similar Rachel Louise look, looks looks look like Lisa Hunnam, but uh, yeah, the, she she throughout the trial and throughout the sentencing hearing and the eventual sentencing, she has been all over all over the papers, all over the media. Here, she actually um, came to the Katani sentencing hearing, um, holding holding banners. and placards last week um, demanding demanding a, a lenient sentence for her boyfriend. She's also appeared on all, all our major uh, networks, uh, nightly news shows, uh, protesting Gatani's innocence and, and really making waves. She's actually even uh, writing a, a film script about the entire case, so she's, she's clearly loving, loving the attention, it appears. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Simon Gatani was sentenced to 26 years. So, what does that mean in terms of his eligibility for parole in Australia? So, he'll be eligible for parole after 18 years. So, that means he could be released in May 2031. Um, but his uh, his lawyers have indicated that he uh, will appeal that. Sen it's unclear if he will appeal the sentence or the or the conviction, but he will appeal. Um, so, it looks like the saga is far from over. Okay. And Lisa Harnham's family, uh, are any of them still in Australia, as far as you know? I'm not 100% sure. I know uh, Lisa's mother has, has uh, sat down for some interviews that will, that will air on Australian television in the next couple of weeks. But uh, they've, they've, after, the, uh, after Gatani was found guilty, they've sort of um, taken the ground and, and haven't been talking to the media too much. So it's unclear exactly what's going on with, with uh, Hanum's family. Okay, Reed Butler, Australia Channel 9 News. Thanks again. Thank you.